could you do and how you look good? I showed you the clip and you're looking in the mirror. I'm just trying to point out so that I can see your comments. You say hello so I know who's here and that you can hear me, otherwise I'm waffling to myself. Hey guys, right. Hello, welcome. Could you just send me a little thumbs up to confirm you can um, hear me and see the picture of me? That kind of thing could be nice. Hazel, are you okay? Oh dear. Very, very warm here. My bathroom is upstairs and in the winter it freeze and in the summer I thaw. <laughs> Just going to bed, TT. See if anybody else is going to join us. Oh, excellent, Hazel. I just saw your thumbs up. Thank you very much. All is okay. Good. So, whilst we're waiting for the others, this is what I'm going to play with today. A hoot boutique. Now, when I saw this, I just have got to have this. I love the shape of this flower. This is the one that I bought it for, was this one. But then I noticed some of these others. I especially like this little group here. And it comes with a set of dolls. And, oh, here you can see it. See, it. I've been using the thing with me. But look at this. Gorgeous. And this actually cuts out this section, but they've got um, impressions on them and dots and things. I haven't tried putting it back together again, as you will see in a moment. But I can cut out this flower. And I can also make this flower I can cut out, I think. And I can cut out this shape and the outside of this flower here. There's lots that I haven't done with it yet, but that is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to play with this stamp set, and it is post-polymer stamp set, as you can see. Got lots of them on blocks. So, that's a good one. Right, I think I'll get going. Now, when I was thinking about what was I going to do today, I thought, what colour shall I use? And I immediately thought of soft, succulent, evening evergreen, just jade. And then I've thrown in, might be, a bit of mint macaron. Now if I bring them, you can see how nicely they all go together, look. Can you see? So these two are from this year's New In Colours. This is from last year's new in colour, and this one is one of our subtles, I think, mint macaron, because I don't use it very often. I put it out on a bit of a holiday. Now, I've got lots of bits ready, so let me just get my bits full. Let me just get rid of my teeth. Okay, so because stamping that I'm going to do will require um, a mat. I've got one of my stamping mats here and what I do is I just cover it with a piece of ordinary copy paper that way it doesn't get all inky. I don't want it to get inky. So I have cut, I have die cut some of these shapes and I thought we'd start with a die cut. Thinking. I'm going to 
て、OK。はい。So here we go. So this is a piece of the 6.6 Designer Series paper bag. Basic white. No, I think I've got the wrong picture on my mind. Let me just put that to one side. Right, we'll do it. Okay, so I need six white thick, five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths square. And then I've got a piece of basic white, and this measures five by five. And then this is a piece of soft succulent, and this measures five and one eighth by five and one eighth, and that should go in there. And then I've got a piece left of the designer series paper, so it's just going to go in there somewhere, I think. But I'm not going to put it on yet. I want to do what I was going to do, and then we'll see how we go. See whether I. going to glue those together yet. Now what I've done is I've die cut, I'm just using part of the die, so I've got the paper portion in the far right there. So this one here, it cuts out a, um, an edge, so that is the white piece, and then there is a full die cut. So I die cut that, and then I die cut this shape here next to my die. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue, now I already glued these together because I thought this would be a bit fiddly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this on. So these are just bushes that are going to end up like so. And then underneath It's a very plain and simple thing with lots of words which you know I like. So I have got the sentiments from uh, oh, where have I got this? From pages uh, from the Pansy set. And it is a lovely, it's a lovely happy birthday. So it fits into the angel perfectly. So I'm going to use that. I'm just going to stamp it in soft succulent. doing but you can't hear me. Oh, okay Hazel, thank you for letting me know. Let me just have a fiddle with the sound. Okay, this
never be better than you are. That's it. You know, Jimmy. Why don't you put your woman to bed? Let's have a more different program with the sound. has done made some changes of course and can you hear me Jeanette of you that are on, could you just say whether you can hear me okay? Um, Hazel couldn't, but um, she's just gone back, she's gone off and has, is going to come back in again. So if you can hear me, could you let me know? I'm going to end the video guys. I suspect it's time to use my computer rather than I'm going to end it. Let's end it. And if you don't mind coming back again.
Right girls, I'm back. Now hopefully you can hear me this time. I'm really sorry, but it um, didn't look like I set it up correctly. It was all my fault, I'm sure. I, c I can't keep blaming Facebook, can I? So I'm just going to wait for a few of you to join in. I'm sorry to mess you about, girls. I'll leave my card that I'm making here. This is the one I'm halfway through. And hopefully, when you come on, you'll say hello. Can I see comments? No. Let me see if I can. Yay! You've got the sound now. Thank goodness, Jeanette. I don't know what I did there. I have no idea. So thank you so much for coming back. I do appreciate it. So, for those of you that are just joining me, I'm using the lovely Batik Boutique to make my cards today. And I'm doing them all in shades of green. Yay! Hello, Val. Were you trying to listen before and you couldn't hear a darn thing? I know. Well, hopefully you can hear now. So that's good. I think Hazel was trying to get in as well, I know. So wait a few minutes. I'll have a slurp. Okay, let's get going. I don't want you to hang around. It's too nice to be hanging around. It's beautiful today. I can see for miles and miles. Right, so what I've done is I've die cut some pieces, okay, in, in soft succulent and basic white. I've stamped my sentiment. Hello, Hazel. Welcome back. You can hear me now. It was all my fault. I'm sure it was my fault. <laughs> I've stamped my sentiment and glued it onto the um, the second part of the double oval shape. So I've used this punch, which has got the two pieces on it, which is so useful. And as you can see, the happy birthday fits there perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some dimensionals. I think I would have them handy, wouldn't you? Hmm. That's interesting. Here we go. So I'm done. I'm going to put the bottom one on flat. So I'll pop that on with some liquid glue, I think. Yes, didn't the the picnic looked lovely and you were so lucky with the weather Jeanette weren't you so you needn't have worried about there not being enough food right so I'm going to pop that in the middle there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these shapes up on dimensionals so this makes a very, very simple card. sentiment up on dimensionals as well aha right yeah you, well, you might get some inspiration hazel even if you don't have the same stamp set as i'm using you might get some ideas mightn't you 
and I'm happy for you to be crafted along I'm just gonna pop that on there like so and this is all onto this piece of soft succulent card believe that we're we're at the end of May I don't know where the year's gone but I am so delighted that we've actually started to get together for stamp and sip oh I'm so pleased right there we go one card almost done so I'm going to use liquid glue for this one Poor Dave. I bet he thinks my house is being taken over by craft stuff. <laughs> okay, right. Now, have I got my. <laughs> I am looking for my. These are the um, in colour jewels. As you can see, I've used them a lot, which is great. Mm -hmm. So let's put a couple of these on. And which ones shall I use? I'm going to use these ones. And I'm going to put one there. And that is all I'm going to put on there. So that is a typical Wendy card. Hello, Jean. Welcome. I hope you can hear me okay. The others can, so hopefully you can. So there you go, girls. A typical Wendy card, don't you think? I'm going to close my ink pad before I stick my card in it. So there's the first card. Oh. Oh, you're going to make some tea stained papers, are you? I just looked back at the comments, Jeanette. Oh, they oh, I can't wait to see those, Jeanette. They're going to be lovely. Right, so let's do another card. I've got three cards planned, all right? Whether we actually get to do the three, who knows? But we will try and see. So I've got a square piece. A square uh, card base, which is five and seven eighths by five. Eighths. And this time I am using, good, I'm glad you can hear me. Ah, oh, that's good that he likes, he likes watching you. And if he can read his paper, then that's good, isn't it? So, here we go. And that's going to go on there, like so. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp on this piece, and I'm using Evening Evergreen this time. Do you know, I do love the the new in colours, I must say. Um, so, I'm going to use And I am going to use this lovely flower. plan is... I am going to stamp my flower across here. Right. Let's just, just check. Oh, can you see what a mess I've made of this? Where's me chamois? I'm 
made a right mess of me block there um, right okay so the plan is that I am going to stamp across here so I'm going to try and find the middle I can try and do it straight that would help okay pretty look at that how cool is that and I'm gonna do another one I'm gonna do another one. Oh, I do like this stamp it reminds it I don't I know it's not art deco but it look it reminds me of that that's why I like it, because I like anything Art Deco I do. Right, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of colouring. So I've got my blends here and I'm going to use soft succulent but before that I'm going to get my ink out of the way. I'm going to use soft succulent and I think I'm going to try a little bit of mint macaron. So let's see. So I want light soft succulent. Oop. Um, let me bring in my And if I don't see a coils, it's only because I've got my head down. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do them all the same. Or at least in my head I'm saying you do them all the same. Right, so that's that. Now I'm going to use the dark one. And I'm going to put a little blob of dark there. there. I'm going to use leave some white. You know what I'm like, girls. I don't want too much colour on anything, do I? So let's try a little bit of. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a bit of mint macaron there. That's light mint macaron with light. Is this light? Yeah, light soft succulent. Oh, look at that. Cool. Right, so let's do light mint macaron. So I'm going to put that there. And I'm not doing shading or anything like that. I'm just literally colouring in. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the dark mint macaron and I'm going to try that. Let me just try it over here. Hmm. Doesn't look much different on that, but we will see. I am going to do I'm going to every other leaf. Now, this is supposed to be dark mint macaron but it don't look dark to me we'll see what it's like when I'm finished does that look dark to you girls 
try the other end oh there you go that's definitely dark I put some light evening evergreen on there. Oh, oh hello, Vicky. Welcome. So, I'm going to just cut these little bits here. And that is, I think, all I'm going to do, girls. But what I might do is I might stick about a bit of, if I can find, oh, where's me? Oh, let's splash about a bit of, you're using, yeah, oh, good for you. Get your little Stacy out and have a little play right i'm just literally getting out putting a bit of sparkle on each on the flowers i'm not going to put it on the leaves just going to put a little bit on the flowers there we go just like so Cool. That's it. They look. <laughs> Gino, you're right. They do, don't they? <laughs> I love it, Jean. <laughs> but they're very pretty flowers, I think. So that's going to go on there. Now, do I want to put that behind it or not? Hmm. Let me have a think. So I've got a... Hmm. What do you think, girls? Shall I put the... Shall I put it on behind there or not? I'm glad to hear you're behaving yourself, Val. Four months. It will go so quickly, Val. It will. Honestly, it will. And of course, now that we're starting to get some decent weather, you'll just be able to go and sit out in the garden. Take a little bell with you. Really annoy Chris and ring the bell when you want something. <laughs> get him to wait on you. <laughs> oh dear did i tell you that the other day charles had four letters all in one day giving him appointments for the hospital he's got to have a telephone conversation with the um, specialist and he's got to go in and they're going to put him on a heart monitor so um yeah so i think he had three or four letters all in one day and I think that made him feel a bit, ugh, as if, why is all this, do you know? And I think it kind of um, made him realise that something had happened, which is not a bad thing. Right, I'm going to stamp the sentiment. I'm still undecided about this piece here. Oh, I definitely don't want that bit. What about if I put it on the side? No, don't like it on the side. Da, 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 da. What do you reckon? 
let me do the sentiment and then I'll have another think about it. Right, so I'm going to use Evening Evergreen. Uh -huh. and this time I'm going to do Hello. Now, I've got this lovely Hello. Let me show it to you. Look. Lovely Hello from here. Look, this Biggest Wish. Have you seen this stamp set, girls? It's got everything in two fonts so you've got hello in the what i call a long thin sort of like aerial font and then we've got this lovely one in a, a handwritten script and there you've got all the same which i think's dead cool and i've just noticed those they're nice aren't they so you could make happy birthday either way round you could say hello friend hello friend or hello friend so there's lots with this um and it, as you can see it's a nice big font so let's oh oh dear i'm having a bit of trouble with me um evening evergreen girls i'm obviously what do i say when i'm at stamp and sip you haven't got a hammer in your hand Hey, look at that. Oh, did, oh, how lovely. What a useful set to have. I think it's a keeper. I really do. So, let me glue this together. Put this on the backing. I might even use some ribbon on this card. Oh, I don't know. Let me sort of think. I'll tell you what I think I'm going to do is I am going to cut this down a little bit. As a, as, I know I like a lot of white, but I think even there's too much white at the top end. Can you see I've got mucky fingers? Let me see if I, I can get a white. Clean the ink off my fingers. Because you know what's going to happen. I'm going to get it all over my card. Okay, right, so we bring in my trusty trimmer. Now, I am going to trim off an inch. An inch, yeah. I'm going to trim off an inch. Right, and then I'm going to trim off an inch of this piece. ribbon instead of dsp hmm. let's have a go let's have a look in a minute now let me finish doing me trimming that's gonna go on there i think that's better much better right so that's gonna go across there so you're saying instead of putting the dsp on put Oh, but now I've cut it down, Val. That looks nice. I quite like that. But I do like the idea of using ribbon. So I'm going to get some ribbon out. Now, mm -hmm. we're going to have to choose. What ribbon are we going to use? We're going to use light ribbon or dark ribbon. So there is soft succulent ribbon. And there is Evening Evergreen. Mm. I'm going to put it behind it. It's not going to go across the, across the flowers like that. Oh, I'm going to use Evening Evergreen. Right, but let me put these bits together first. So, bring in some liquid glue. This is going to go on my base of my card. Yes, Jean, I agree. <laughs> yeah, if 
we all tell her, Jean, she might listen. Huh. Okay, so there's the bottom of my card. Oh. Here. Okay. Yeah. It just, it was too much white, wasn't it? I know I'm not the sort of person who normally says that, but it was just too much white. I'm going to go on there like that. All right. And evening evergreen for the ribbon. So what I'm going to do is now. Am I just going to put that there like that? I am, but I am going to. Where's my glue dots? Right. I don't know whether you've ever seen me do this before. And I've got a set of the glue dots where the glue dots are on the are on the um are on the think the not on the roll, they're on the bit and oh very peculiar that feels, I tell you. I just wanna put that that there. Right. And then I'm gonna wrap that round there. Uh, 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 uh. Cut that off. Let's be ribbon snips. Oh, you can't sit either, Val. Do you know, I, when I was young, I used to be able to spend all day outside. And I used to spend a lot of time outside. Um, and I don't know, it's a, perhaps it's a getting old thing, I don't know. But I do find that I, um, I don't enjoy now as much as I used to. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, get a glue dot. Oh, I keep that they're on the piece of on there here instead of here. I keep sticking my finger on them. Right, so that's going to go on there. That's going to go. Now, can I be clever and do this? I want that like that, like that. <laughs> this is definitely sticking your tongue out job, this one. There we go. Right, another bit of glue. Another bit of glue in the middle there. Otherwise that's going to... Did I pick up a glue dot? I don't think I did. Oh, a big brolly. Oh, we don't have a big brolly. <laughs> I read it as mind, Jean. It was it I was having the conversation with the other day where um, I used to be a copy typist when I was a lot younger. And I was hope although I could type really, really fast, the reading it back, the proofreading afterwards, I was not so good at because I used to read what I was supposed to have written, not what I typed. And I used to call myself a typewriter. <laughs> so I said, I used to say, oh, yeah, I'll do it for you, but I'm a tri I'm a tripist. <laughs> there, that looks good. Right, I'm going to put that up onto some dimensionals. What do you think? Oh, where are we going to put the... Look, that little block is too high up. So I am going to put that there. Right? But I'm going to put this on dimensionals. Oh, it's an age thing, you know, that we can't sit in the sun now. Either that or the sun's got hotter. Which it could have done, couldn't it? I'm planning to go out in the garden tomorrow, as the weather's nice. I need to do some severe weeding and chopping back. And I thought I'll go and do it tomorrow. <laughs> you thought that was funny, did you? Me call him pissed.
And do you know, it's funny, I used to do shorthand as well. I learned Pittman shorthand when I was um, at college. And I could take shorthand quite fast. I used to um, listen to the news. That's how we used to practice. Uh, listen to the news and try and keep up with the news readers. Sometimes I managed it. But again, reading back what I'd written, you know, used to get me curls all in the wrong places. But unfortunately, I had a very good memory. So that is going to sit there. What do you think of that? Well, that is cool. I like that a lot. And this is going to go on here. So I'm going to need to put some dimensionals just at the bottom of my shape. Oh, you'll be working tomorrow. Oh, how long will you be open for tomorrow? Because it's Sunday. I suppose you'll be open till 8, will you? Or is it later than that? Do they have Sunday hours? I've frozen, have I? goes on for too long Jean go out and come back in again I notice I seem to have dropped lost a couple of you so try doing that try going out and coming back in again there we go cool right where's me <laughs> to you now where am I going to put these oh, do you know I'm going to put them on these dots here very useful this stamping up I've put the and I'm mixing the big and the little deliberately 10 p.m. oh really gosh I don't know when, whether our co-op stays open that late. I've never gone into a co-op that late to find out. There we go, girls. Another card. So there's our second card. Cool. I do like that. That's pretty. Pretty. Right. Now, what am I going to do next? You can see I've tried to be organised. Right, so we're back to soft succulent. And I've cut some bits. So this is five and a half by five and a half, this piece. And what I was thinking was putting that across the middle this time. You can see I'm going through a phase of using designer series paper, can't you? That's going on there. And I've got one of these shapes. Now, will I use one of those shapes? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some stamping. Now, I am going to use this lovely big shape. So I'm going to use soft succulent. It's bringing me mats. Mm -mm -mm. This will be interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a background. But first of all, I'm going to, this is going to be my main image. All right. Oh, I'm back. Good. I wonder what happened there then, Jean. Obviously, something happened. So this is going to go here right so that's going to go there now what i'm going to do is i'm going to stamp just make a background oh cool 
look at this, isn't that lovely? Lovely. Now, in this set, do you remember I said to you there's some cute little, can you see, there's three little stamps together. So I was thinking perhaps fill in some gaps. Oh, yay. Cool. Just to make a really pretty background paper. I'm only going to do it where I can fit them in, where they won't hopefully no, no mm, I don't want to um So, ee, look at that! Isn't that pretty? Cool. Right, clean this stamp. Yes, yes, Jean, very nice. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is this is going to sit there. Right. So. I'm going to, and I've put another, I've done another little plain one as, you know, one of the top ones, like I did for the first card. I think they will look nice there. All right. So I do need something to go behind it to, to just draw your eye to it a bit. So what I'm thinking is, I'm going to put that there. Not as long as that. And I probably want a sentiment. Mm-hmm. So that's going to come here. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do happy birthday again, I think. Oh, what's this? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do, yeah, happy birthday again. And I'm going to do it in, did I clean that? Oh, I can't remember. <sighs> Hair everywhere. Right. Here we go. Happy birthday. And then my little ones. What I could do is I could use those just to add a little bit of pattern to my stamp, yeah, okay, and then that's going to go on there, I need a bit of ribbon on it. I'll put a bow, perhaps I'll put a bow here. 
Right, so let's glue this down. Da -da -da. Glue. This is going to go across here. Do you know, I do like this side of the designer series paper. I'd be quite happy if we had everything just in that pattern. Right, so this is going to go on here. I'm going to put it on flat. And then I'll put the top, the little topper on with dimensionals. So using that to cover up that bit. Like so. Let's put my, my ink away before I stick the finger in it. Okay. Right, so this is going to go here. That's going to go on a dimensional or two or three even. Now I'll just do two. birthday is going over here. Happy birthday there. Pop that on a dimensional or two too. There we go some ribbon do a little bow did you notice those of you that came to stamp and sip that there were no bows on any of the cards that i asked you to make i thought oh no get them to do bows the first time out that's asking a bit too much so i deliberately didn't put any bows on don't you think that was kind of me There we go, a nice little bow, a mini bow. Do you call a mini bow a bowette? No, I don't think you do. They're a bow, aren't they? Right, there we go. Bow. And then cut that down like so. And I think that's going to go over there. What I'll do is I will put it onto my base card first. Now. I have got a piece of designer series paper. Do I want to put that underneath there? No, I do not. No. Mm -hmm. But do you think it needs a bit of soft succulent behind it? Mm. Mm. Let me see if, I can, if I've got a piece I can cut up. Do you know, my in colour... I got a mixed pack of the in colours and I'm on the third pack already. I could have just got a, a pack of just the single colours, couldn't I? And then I wouldn't keep running out. Right, so this measures, what did I say this measured? Was it five and a half? Yeah, five and a half by five and a half. So I'm going to cut this down to five and five eighths because I don't want an awful lot of it showing. Let's get everything out of the way. Five and five eighths. going to go on there would help if that was a bit straighter get my bone fold out mm -hmm. 
birthday do they still get a telegram from the queen when they're a hundred you know yeah um that's what i'm gonna do hazel i'm gonna get single pack ones because as i say i've been through three packs oh my i haven't used all of them but i can tell already what my favorites are soft succulent is one of them and the other one is fresh fuchsia got to be on it because it's purple <laughs> or shade off so that's going on there and then this will go on there pretty That's definitely a Wendy card, that one, isn't it? Where's me bow gone? Oh, there it is. There's me bow. Now my glue dots. Oh, you'll let me know whether they get their um, 100th telegram, will you, Val? I'm sure they must do. I can't imagine them stopping doing it. Glue dot behind the knot. And I'm gonna wait on no, I'm gonna pop that there. Pop that there. Just like so. There we go. And there's another card done. Pretty. Do you think it needs some bling on it? I think I'm going to just use pearls. Oh, I've got any little pearls, I think. Yeah, I've got four on here. So. We go four little pearls yes they are lovely really nice i don't think as i said i don't know if i said it earlier but um i don't think i've ever fallen in love with the in colors as much as i have with these last years were good the years before year before that i wasn't too keen on but this is just up my street i love them so there we go there's another card done Pariddy, Pariddy. Right, so I've got one more to do that I've prepared for. Now, what was I going to do with this? Uh huh. I think this is this is what I'm going to do with this. I've I've put this through the embossing an embossing folder, and this is the bark one. Um, in my next order, I'm going to get the lovely flowery one. Not the tiny little flowers, but um, the new the new embossing fo folder, which I haven't got, and I'm just going to. Oh, it's called Pretty Flowers. Can you can you see that one there? Look, because it's a nice all over pattern. The only trouble is we don't have many six by six ones that I that I could use for all over pattern which is a bit of a bummer 
never mind i might have to go back to using subtle I might not but anyway this will do this is fine right so that's going to go on there and then what i thought i'd do that's going to go on there and i am going to i'm going to go back to the flowers the, the flowery one here and i think all i'm going to do is i'm going to stamp the flower in the center okay here we go so what am i going to use evening evergreen yeah because that's what the paper is or the card is is evening evergreen so let's do that so tap 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 gently and i'm going to put this flower in the middle or oh i know what i could do how about if i stamp it on here then i could color it lovely yeah misty moonlight i definitely love and yeah misty moonlight mm. I can I can live without the others to be honest. So I I know where you're coming from there, Hazel. Right, let's do a bit of colour in. I'm gonna do light. No, I don't want dark suc soft succulent. I want some. I want light evening evergreen. Right. Okay. Here we go. So. This is going to be just a bit of colouring. I just thought, can you see my head? Hopefully not. Oh yeah, Rococo Rose, I fell in love with very late. Pretty Peacock, I could live without. But I do love Seaside Spray. Light soft succulent, I think, if I could find it. There it is. Light soft succulent. And I'm literally just going to colour in the rest of this lot. So we have a two-tone flower. Hmm, shall I do the leaf? Oh, I might as well, might I? There we go. 
then what I'm going to do is I am going to cut this out, fussy cut it. Let's just cut it off a bit of first one. like me do you stick your tongue out when you're fussy cutting I do and when I think about it I put it back in again and then I stick it out again no head Oh, don't know what that means, Jean. Sorry. Oh, no head showing. All oh, right, I'm with you, Jean. I've caught up. Duh. That little brain cell has obviously gone to sleep. Silly Billy, I am. I forget that when I ask a question, it's not like when you're having a face-to-face -face conversation with somebody. You get the answer straight away. With Facebook, there's a terrible delay. It's one of the reasons why I'm thinking I might do my clock, my online on Zoom. I can... I can see your reactions from when you was yes yes I picked it up Hazel I had to think back to what I was saying right here we go here's my little flower that's gonna sit on that piece there that's gonna go on there right so what am I gonna do for the sentiment I have got here happy birthday and this comes from Artistically Inked, and I've not used this yet. And I do like it, but I'm a bit frightened of using it. Dare I? Shall I use this across all gone? I am going to. Well, we're going to go a bit off piece, dear girls. Let me bring in. <laughs> I'm going to bring in this peculiar shape that is this right now I have not used this before so I have no idea what it's going to come out like now have I got a piece of let me get a piece of ordinary card just so that I can try it out let's see how it looks I'm doing it in soft succulents Right. Have any of you got this stamp set? And have you used it? So let's see. You're getting better at fussy cutting. I am too, Val. Yes. Oh, right. That's what we're going to do. We are going to. Going to take the shape. And I am going to put my flower on here. And I'm going to sort of use this as some ground. 
Right. I want this to go across here. There seems to be a straight, straight a bit and a long, a not so straight bit. Keep your fingers crossed, girls. Oh, look at that! Isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have fun with that. <gasps> Lovely. I'm gonna keep that piece of card. I might use that for something. Right. So this is gonna go on here. And my flower is gonna go above it. Yeah, look at that. What do you reckon? Cool. Do you think I need to fill in that bit? No, I don't. I am not going to. But what I am going to do is I'm going to stamp a sentiment. Oh, I use that bit. Hold on. I have got some some strips here. Now, I am going to stamp happy birthday on this here sentiment, right? And I'm going to use evening evergreen. Stamp this in the middle straight. Whoa, look at that, girls. Did you see that? You were witness. That's almost straight. <laughs> oh, I don't want that. I want me. I want me cleaning. Me chamois. Now I've got a bit of a dilemma. What do I put on here? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I've got do, 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 the banner pick a punch. And I'm going to hopefully fishtail yeah, at the end. There we go. So I fishtailed those two. I can't cut them, I'm hopeless. Right, so that's that. Now, hmm. do I want a evening evergreen or I've got a strip of. Oh, I think that would look quite nice behind it. Now, do I want to put some little flowers or something on that piece? Or. Do I want to use that stamp again? <gasps> Do I want to use that stamp again? I'm very tempted, you know. I'm not going to use Evening Evergreen, though. Right, here we go. I'm going to use it again. <laughs> I wonder what will happen if I stamp it off. Let's have a look. I think I will stamp it off. Isn't that pretty on there? <laughs> there we go. Now... I'm going to clean that. And I'm going to bring in, do you remember I said I got some, there's a tiny little flower that's got a very pretty little, right, so it's like a little mini version of the one. What I'm going to do. 
So I'm just doing this. That you mean the artistically inked jean? I think it is going to be lovely, and this intrigues me. I've seen people using it, but I can see this being used so many ways. I just love it. I think it's such a clever idea, and I love the fonts on these sentiments. So, um, and this is one that's going to be with us for the whole year. So we're going to get a lot of use out of it. I can, I'm, in fact, I can, I can, I'm sure that we can use that as stamp and sip. I'm sure. Even a newbie would be able to use it, I think. Right, so this is going to go across here like so. Right, so let's get this all glued together, shall we? How many cards have we made? This is the fourth one. I think it is. And we doing time wise? Of course, it's half past three. Cool. Hello, Judy. How long have you been there? Very warm welcome to you. How are you, my dear? I hope you're all right. So this is going to go on here. Do you know what I might do is I might round the corner so that if I can find my corner rounder that is. Where's my corner rounder gone? Oh, oh I lost my corner rounder. Oh, I can't cut my corners. Excuse me, girls, while well, I just have a little hunt for me corner rounder. When did I last have it? Can you tell me, when did I last use me corner rounder? Well, how strange is that? It has disappeared. Oh, I can't even find me, um, me X cut one. That's strange that they've both disappeared. Probably downstairs, I suspect. Suspect. Well, I can't round the corners thing, can I? You watch. As soon as I glue this on, my corner rounder will suddenly appear. Ah, never mind. It's going to be a straight one. So this is going to go on here. Yes, now I, I quickly caught Sarah's video, but I'm going to go back and watch what she did. Because she didn't, she used daubers to colour hers. And I thought that was a dead cool idea. So, let's use... It's going to go on there now shall I pop it up and see if I can hmm. if I use tiny little ones in certain places I might be able to Put some little ones here Really, really thin pieces. I can't even use my ribbon. Ah, that's how she did it. So she did it with a dauber, 
and she used polished pink oh and pale papaya that's right she did you're right all right so i've got a tiny little strip here and i'm i'm not going to be able to pull the um so much if this it's just a tiny little thin strip and it won't matter so much if it's not stuck down because I'm going to put a um, my happy birthday over it yeah that's better it pops it up a bit doesn't it go up there like that trying to get it straight I think I might put a bit of Wink of Stella on it needs a little bit of lift I think Just put a little bit over here because I can. Why not? Cool. Don't know whether you can see that. Can you see that? Does the light catch it? Just a little bit. Nice. And then this is going to go over here. So definitely want dimensionals behind this. shape popping out the bottom but you don't get that piece of white space oh you use the envelope punch board oh why didn't i think of that oh. well i have got two corner rounders somewhere i shall have to go and find them they've got to be here somewhere but they might be downstairs actually there we go needs a bow I think don't you a bow so what colour bow shall I put on it light or dark so shall I put soft succulent or shall I put a bow yes I've got the detect that's the one I've got Hazel or shall I put the um, evening evergreen what do you think what should I put on there? While you're thinking of that, I'm going to put some jewels on. Let's get this one out of the way. Don't want those. Uh, I'm going to put these ones. I'm going to just dot these about. no response yet I'm going to tie a bow in each colour and you can decide which one you like uh -huh. 
evening evergreen, you think, do you, Hazel? Well, let's see. I'll do that one next. I do like these ribbons they are beautiful so so nice to, they're nice to tie bows with right there you go there's the evening evergreen one and there's the soft succulent one. Oh, i think you're right hazel evening evergreen definitely so i'm sorry if anybody said has said soft succulent but I'm the boss. I've told. I've chosen. <laughs> so here we go. Snip, snip. And that's gonna go on there. Got too much of an end. An end there. Let's just trim that off a bit more. And that's gonna go on there. Good. Now where's my glue dots gone? Okie dokie, here we go. That's going on there. Like so. I can actually tuck it underneath there, but cool. Lovely. There we go. There's another card done. The dark one stands out better. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, Jean, you agreed. Evening Evergreen. Yeah, yeah. I think we all came to the same conclusion, didn't we? Which is good. So I think I'm going to stop here because it is now gone up past three. All right. So let me show you the cards that I've made this afternoon. All similar, but different, if you know what I mean. Look at those. How gorgeous. In fact, let me get rid of me, me grid paper, then you'll be able to see them better. See them better now. You've got those lines as well. Let's pop that one under there. So there you go. Four lovely, lovely cards. Well, I think they're lovely. I'm very pleased with them. Can you see them all right? Yeah, I think you just about can. I will do um, a blog post. And I'll post everything that I've used today and the stamp sets and the colours and everything. But as you know, they are the new in colours. And the stamp set that I have used is the Batik Boutique. In fact, it come, the, you can get the dies and the stamp set um, as a bundle for 10% uh, with a 10% discount. And I think that is lovely. Really, really nice. Yay. Thank you, Val. Thank you very, very much, everybody. And I'm sorry we had the, the bit of a to-do at the beginning. I will get better at it. I keep saying that every week, don't I? <laughs> Thank you, Hazel. Right, I'm going to go. Go off and get a nice cup of tea and go and sit in the garden and re rest and relax. All right. Thank you, Jeanette. So I'm going to sign off now and I'm trying to think um, there won't be any mystery stamping on Wednesday uh, because I shall be doing stamp and sip 
at treat time in Barnstable. There are still a couple of places left if any of you want to come along. Um, uh, but I might do mystery stamping the following Wednesday. See how things go here. Can't remember whether Charles has got a hospital appointment. I'll have to check. All right. So hopefully I shall see you soon. Have a lovely bank holiday weekend, girls. You take care of yourselves. Bye. <laughs>